so there's two ways here. I usually will set this up in paint, but let's see what it, there we go. This is the one I usually will use. Mm, so, 176. And the only thing we'll do is we're going to use the set this to override and go back to the black so water so so say I mean if you want you could probably it many different ways as far as the now, this is the one that you'll usually use and depending on where you want your light set up it's pretty much up to you but all we're doing is basically cutting out and uh, the, like a dim portfolio, so uh, usually it'll hit, and then you could just click on what type you want to use. Also, depending on the angle you want to use. And you just basically cut everything out that you want visual. And usually, when the lights are on, get that like so. just cutting everything out that you want and when you get closer and use the eraser here or the paint doesn't matter either way you're gonna make the adjustments a lot of easier here just choose what you want to highlight so if the lights were shining like this more than likely this lid would be that part would be shining there and so with the shadow part here you wouldn't highlight anything under there because you want to offset the, the fact that this one light is on
and this is you can either use the line tool or you can use the paintbrush on that as well maybe the top of this lid here as well I'm not done uh, drawing this out but I would be also using that So the other good thing about this is when you do have it in the same you adjust here it'll change the highlight to cut that, that right okay sorry so when you want to make the adjustments you can go back to the eraser tool Alright, so when the eraser eraser tool so whenever you have overwrite the adjustments could be made with the eraser tool. So go from the brush to the eraser. Right? So right now it's not doing any cutting here. So we'll go here, make the adjustment. You can start to see the different light team, like here. So the more you adjust, so it'll either be darker or lighter, and then you could choose whether which one you want. So this one's a little bit lighter. If you swing it across a little bit more, it's a lot more bright. It'll cut out a larger space, right? And then you can just adjust whatever shadows you want on. So you want a little bit of lighting, because usually they're not always the same when the light is on so take thing on how bright it would be uh, and remember um it makes it easy because you don't have to put these shadows in any other way you use this template right and there be would be no light under here but say if there was a re like a reflective way, you can kind of like do it that way as well, because you don't want it to cut too deep as far as the shadow. And then you could go around and just make the adjustments you want to make based on which light is on. So you know. I'm going to end up using this other light anyway, but yeah, whatever lighting you want here, you make the adjustments. So let's go to oh, 70, 62, right? See, 62 is bright, but it's not super bright. So if we were to turn this light, right, and this one, let's do the line tool. Let's 
And I use this sometimes whenever you want to have like um, someone with a flashlight. Just instead of doing a mask or anything like that, this is what I'll do. I'll use this instead. And then again, it gives you the options of how bright you want that light to focus on it. And then go over the last part, which is just the, the blur. So we'll let me go ahead and um, I'm so basically, this shadow feature here. And I'm going to be using this thing as an on and off light. So we'll just basically click here, get this out of the way. All right. So these are all the different shadow phases that we have. So I'll select all. All you have to remember is lighten this up. So we'll go to I think the one we use was 62, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, looks like so. So there you have this here. Now, just to do the globe. I usually use a circle to fill in. So, I can make adjustments that way. Paintbrush. All right. Then we change this here to white. Then you can make adjustments on how bright you want it. Then the blur. I use this usually for um, lighting as well, that outside lighting. And 
you can adjust the colors as well if you're trying to get some different kind of lighting for the blur you can use that for I sometimes use this say if you had a character that you know riding a motorbike you can use this as pass over phases and makes it look like he's he's reflecting all you know maybe he's going down the street and he's just reflecting on you can use this that way but for this one we're we'll using the right for the scene and that's it and then you can I usually will keep these so when I go to Moho I do my on and off well, I guess we can push this in here I'll show it real quick You don't have to have it uh, this high. It's the reason why I do make the adjustments this high for this scene that I'll be doing. Uh, and then we can export the blur part. Uh, we don't really need the blur to be that crazy. I doing with the other oh yeah that was the other one I thought I, I think I cut that th hopefully I didn't cut oh there it is yeah I'll do one more thing with someone's asking about head movement so we'll go ahead and image uh, where did I put these I think I did that, uh, nope not the desktop And again, these are very large. You don't have to do it that large. Just group these together real quick so I can shrink it down.
and this is just like the, a rough thing accumulated here. So the other thing you can do with this is you change, create a folder with a switch. Let's see here. just fill this here black so we can see it what's going on so this one here All right. So if you have the light here, we'll add another, create another group. And put all the blurs in here. Like so. And then we can create a vector or just a blank vector. So when we change this to a switch, play this so this goes this up and on Let's go for on this one, just play. So there you go. Um, I put a timestamp in there when I actually <laughs> started showing what I was supposed to be showing at the beginning, how to do this, the lighting and the blur. 
so that you don't have to watch me draft or color them in. All right, thank you uh, for watching the video. Have a great day.